here in the winter garden it did okay I'm just checking some things out these are collard greens they're called flash they did they did really well I might have to you know buy more of those next year um, and like I said they're called flash never planned them before but all the other collard greens that are in the garden are champions um, I still have some uh, canned peppers and uh, habaneros got a whole bunch of habaneros that are still going strong and and some uh, jalapenos that are still producing pretty good pretty good size jalapenos my son will probably take those and turn them into a popper and this is some form of cabbage I forgot what it's called and here's another champion call it green uh, some broccoli little baby broccoli coming off and these over here are weeds and turnips uh, I'll cut those turnip greens and and cook those and do something with them here pretty soon but <clears throat> these are the champion collard greens my favorite kind of plant and here's some more of the uh, broccoli uh, I don't think there's yeah there's another head of broccoli coming on and there's one too um, a lot of people plant cabbages and collard greens and you start getting these leaves that are holy and what a lot of people don't know is there's worms like the one that I just zoomed in on that eat these up there's a lot of different ways you can take care of them um, the best way that I found is to use Colorado um, beetle uh, spray out of a sprayer and spray on there and and uh, it takes care of them uh, or uh, seven powder uh, does pretty good as well either one of those but um, here's some more of the collard greens they're doing pretty good now that it's rained and this right here is supposed to be uh, Brussels sprouts but don't know exactly how far along they're going to get because the cabbages I watered them but it's nothing like the rain water and they're not really that big at all as you can see it's got little heads forming but I don't know how far along they're going to go over here we have some curly kale and curly mustard along with some black mustard but um, I think the black mustard is taking over I don't see very much curly mustard but this is some more greens and this is what's in the garden there's a little bit of kale but that's what's in the garden and if you want to know what this white stuff is this is just some lime that I I threw out so once I pick all the collard greens I'm going to disc it into the ground uh, had a lot of issues with uh, blossom rot on peppers and tomatoes and got a soil sample so hopefully this will help correct that but this is what's in the garden 